Hello everybody, this is Louisa from LA Paper Studio and today I'm working on a Christmas card. This Christmas card was actually a request from someone who asked me to do um, a few Christmas cards with a uh, banana theme type of project. I know that sounds odd, but just bear with me for a minute. Um, I started with an ivory card base and this is an um, eight and a quarter by five and a half um, piece of ivory and then I just folded it at four and actually this is eight and a half and I folded it at four and a quarter. So just a standard A2 size card and I took a um, more ivory card stock and I cut a three inch strip by five and a half and embossed it using Cuddlebug's, um, I want to say that this, I always forget the name of this embossing folder is one of the older ones. I think it's called um, fabric damask or fabric textiles. That's what it is. And then I used the Martha Stewart punch and I punched out using ivory also, so it's kind of monochromatic right now. Um, these two borders and I popped it up in some um, foam tape and put it on top of the card. Next, what I did is I've already had all my, I already have all my cuts together, put together. I cut this out of the Cricut uh, Teresa Collins Christmas ornaments. Cricut cartridge. I got it a while ago while it was its own um, cartridge online only um, and I want to say I paid about $6.99 for it. So it's one of those, it only brings about four cuts but any ornament will really do and I cut this ornament at um, four and a half inches so it takes up almost the whole card and then I went ahead and did this little poinsettia using Cricut's Flower Shop and what I used to make this poinsettia was um, Kimberly from My Craft Spot she did a long time ago she did a poinsettia YouTube video tutorial and I used her video tutorial however I altered the dimensions I cut the flower the two flowers she cuts them at two inches and I cut them at one and then the in in this little piece here, the third part of the flower, I cut it at um, 0.75 inches and then I also made the center smaller so that it would fit me. So I made this little poinsettia. And then lastly I have from my cuts, I have, um, I used my spellbinders and I cut this uh, scallop circle and this circle and I embossed the circle using um, Recollections and the name of this, I want to say it's the Damask um, background stamp. You can find it at uh, Michael's, it's still available. I, I got it about a year and a half ago, but it's still, uh, every time I, I go, I still see it. So it has a really gorgeous background pattern, and, and I used some gold embossing powder um, to give it kind of like a gold foil look. So these two would go here. And then finally, out of uh, Cricut's Create a Critter, I cut the little banana and it's going to go in the middle of my Christmas ornament. And I know this card is looking very elegant and it looks, it, it almost looks like the banana doesn't fit. But then you go ahead and put this little banana hat and it actually does look really cute. So it's meant to be more of a funny card, or a funny yet elegant card with a banana theme. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together.
Okay, so here you have it. This is the finished card. Um, it is a very elegant. It has a cutesy effect of the banana. I did not. Um, I did not put any piece of cardstock behind the banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in and color this black. And also to bring more attention to the banana, I'm going to go ahead and dab some glue delicately on the white parts of the Santa hat. And then just with a little bit of cotton, and I keep this in my paper stash um, just because this is the but this is the same kind that you would get at um, a pharmacy. Now I'm just going to shape it and let the glue soak in the cotton so that it gives it that white fuzzy feeling that Santa hats usually have. And then just a little bit more for the little ball, the puffy ball. Maybe a tad more. And then if you still have some little cotton hair that's coming out you can always try to cut it use very sharp scissors if not um you can use fabric scissors like the the fabric the scissors that you would use to cut fabric with and it should take care of the the fuzzy hairs so there you have it this is my little christmas card uh with a banana and um, I did use uh, this Recollections Punch. It has become one of my favorite punches actually since I purchased it just because it does a really cute intricate type of leaf. Um, which it, you can use it not only for Christmas projects but for other types of projects. So here you go. This is my finished Christmas card. Um, if you have any questions about any of the process, uh, please don't forget to comment on the video or on my blog and I'll be happy to help. Also, I am, I will put a link to Kimberly's um, tutorial on how to make pinsettas with the uh, Cricut's uh, flower shop cartridge. And as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like uh, the card and the projects that I provide. And don't forget to visit my blog, elliepaperstudio.blogspot.com to find other projects like these. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.